Aircraft carriers are warships that act as air bases for carrier-based aircrafts. In the United States Navy, these consist of ships commissioned with hull classification symbols CV, aircraft carrier, CVA, attack aircraft carrier, CVB, large aircraft carrier, CVL, light aircraft carrier, CVN, aircraft carrier, nuclear propulsion, beginning with the Foresto class CV-59 to present. All carriers commissioned in the service are classified as supercarriers. The United States Navy has also used escort aircraft carriers, CVE, and airship aircraft carriers. This list does not include various amphibious warfare ships, which can operate as carriers. The first aircraft carrier commissioned into the United States Navy was USS Langley, CV-1, on March 20, 1922. The Langley was a converted Proteus-class collider, originally commissioned as USS Jupiter, AC-3. Langley was soon followed by the Lexington-class, USS Ranger, the first purpose-built carrier of the American fleet, the Yorktown-class, and USS Wasp. These classes made up the entirety of the United States carrier fleet active prior to the Second World War. This is the order of America's undefeated warships of all time. Number 1. U.S. Navy's 10 Aircraft Carriers Aircraft carriers are the centerpiece of U.S. naval forces. Aircraft carriers support and operate aircraft that engage in attack on airborne, afloat, and ashore targets that threaten free use of the sea. Number 2. USS Nimitz Class the 97,000-ton Nimitz, one of the world's largest warships, is nuclear-powered. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers are designed for an approximately 50-year service life with one midlife refueling. Built by Huntington Ingalls Industry Newport New Shipping Co., the USS Nimitz CVN-68 was commissioned in May 1975. It could carry more than 60 aircraft and has a speed of 30-plus knots, 34.5-plus miles per hour, claims the U.S. Navy. According to the U.S. Navy, the USS Nimitz is 1,092 feet, or 332.8 meters in length, and has a flight deck width of 252 feet, 76.8 meters. It has a displacement of approximately 97,000 tons, or 98,560 long tons, with full load. Number 3. USS Carl Vinson Commissioned on March 13, 1982 in Newport News with Richard L. Martin as her first commanding officers, USS Carl Vinson is the U.S. Navy's third Nimitz-class carrier. Carl Vinson was the first modern aircraft carrier to conduct operations in the Bering Sea in 1986. Number 4. USS Dwight D. Eisenhower According to U.S. Navy, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower provides a wide range of flexible mission capabilities to include maritime security operations, expeditionary power projection, forward naval presence, crisis response, sea control, deterrence, counterterrorism, information operation, security cooperation, and counterproliferation. The ship's embarked air wing is capable of projecting tactical air power over the sea and inland as well as providing sea-based air, surface, and subsurface defense capabilities. Number 5. USS Theodore Roosevelt Nimitz-class aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt is a 66-ton, 010-level structure houses radar communication, and other electronic equipment. Launched in 1984 and delivered to the Navy in 1986, USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-71 is the fourth Nimitz-class carrier built at Newport News and is the fourth ship of the class to undergo the major life cycle milestone of refueling and complex overhaul, RCOH. Number 6. USS Abraham Lincoln the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, 
USS Abraham Lincoln celebrated the 23rd anniversary of her commissioning on November 11, 2012. Since its commissioning in 1989, Lincoln has completed seven deployments. The second ship, named for President Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln entered the fleet as the 5th Nimitz-class supercarrier. The ship embarked on her maiden deployment beginning May 1991 in response to Operation Desert Shield or Operation Desert Storm. Number 7. USS John C. Stennis The USS John C. Stennis is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier built by Newport News Shipbuilding Company. It was commissioned on December 9, 1995. According to the U.S. Navy, the USS John C. Stennis is 1,092 feet, or 332.8 meters in length, and has a flight deck width of 257 feet. It was built at a cost of $3.5 billion and has a projected life of 50 years. USS Harry S. Truman USS Harry S. Truman is the ninth nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and the eighth in the Nimitz class. The ship was launched September 13, 1996 and delivered to the United States Navy June 30, 1998. USS Harry S. Truman was commissioned July 25, 1998. According to the U.S. Navy, USS Harry S. Truman provides a wide range of flexible mission capabilities to include maritime security operation, expedientiary power projection, forward naval presence, crisis response, sea control, deterrence, counterterrorism, information operations, security cooperation, and counterproliferation. Number 9. USS Ronald Reagan According to U.S. Navy, USS Ronald Reagan ship, her air wing, and her crew make up the most effective and versatile fighting vessel in the world. The USS Ronald Reagan was commissioned in July 2003, making it the ninth nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The ship is named for the 40th U.S. President. The ship's motto, Peace Through Strength, was a reoccurring theme during the Reagan presidency. Number 10. USS George H. W. Bush the USS George H. W. Bush aircraft carrier was commissioned on January 10, 2009. It was built by Newport News Shipbuilding Company. According to the U.S. Navy, the USS George H. W. Bush is 1,092 feet or 332.8 meters in length and has a flight deck width of 252 feet. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.